Hello everybody, this is Savings from Oreo Gaming, and before I get into why I'm in this cave and what happens, I'm going to show you a quick slideshow of what happened right beforehand. Hit that up, another spatula. That up, another spatula. So I figured I'd try a new editing style today. Hope you all enjoy. Make sure to comment down below and I'll add your name to the shadow list. The sound of that boulder in the background is the sound of my impending doom. Being crushed by boulders the size of houses. Spongebob don't give a Ain't nothing holding him back from the socks. And who the heck keeps dropping all these spike balls down? So is someone really like paid to sit up there and just throw these spike balls down all day? And there goes the rocks again. Wonder who manufactures these floaties that just stay under the water half the time. That painting looks like me IRL. Really glad Spongebob can make these 10 foot jumps with ease. One more set of death rocks and that's another spatula. Let's see what lies on the other side of this gate. Oh, it's awful. It's terrible. It's a carnival. Sorry, but the carnival is oh, thank God. I mean, in all honesty, it's not that bad. I mean, there's killer robots everywhere you go. What could be so bad about that? On my adventure to save the world, I can't help but notice a whack-a-mole pit sitting right beside me. You know what must happen. That's 20 seconds of my life well spent. I asked this girl why she was here and she's like, I'm waiting my turn to ride on the death cups. Getting this ice ring down here wasn't really that hard. The biggest thing was getting the time and ride on it, making sure to clear everything before. I tried to jump to the spatula to see if we could try to get it without paying for it. It just didn't work though. So I switched to SpongeBob and now we've got another spatula. After a fun-filled adventure on these slides, we go back behind this candy shop and get a sock up here. And then using the same slide, go and yeet ourselves across a small bit of the map, and then end up getting smacked by most of the robots here. Clear an amount, and then it's GG. Back near the beginning, we smack this kid and then nab a golden spatula. And then we take a quick trip back, I skate all the way over to another golden spatula, and then get ourselves back just in time. Yay! And then the power of God smites this robot, and we get a spatula from it. Now we're back to Bikini Bottom, and it's time for our first boss fight. This boss fight's not too hard. Just kind of run around and then smack her when she does that right there. That's one more hit. And that one's GG. This phase is almost exactly like the other one, except this one you throw her head to. It's also got this spring trap in it too. Kinda like that. Right like that. And there we go. And the third phase is a lot like the first two. Just kinda run around and dodge stuff away from the wires and then after you hit her you kind of just yeet yourself up into her head right like that and that's GG big ugly metal squirrel is now gone and we got a golden spatula We're finishing that awesome boss fight up we've now unlocked a new ability got another piece of life Get a couple more golden spatulas. Whoa, well, bam! And there we go. And now we enter Sandy's house. And as we play as something out of nightmares, we kind of just run around and destroy all the robots. Hit all of these up. Smash all of these. 
Double blam. Kapow. And there it goes. And that last one. And that's another golden spatula. It's a shame you can't go into Sandy's treehouse. And off to the Mermelayer we go. Hit this up for a sock. And in we go. And here we are at the cheapest place I could find an apartment for. I love how there's ravines of death on both sides of the doorway. Look, it even comes with a bowling rink. Make sure to dodge all the electrical faults in this building. This cowboy don't mean nothing. Just kind of yeet. Skeet. And kableet. And now, using your newfound bowling skills, use them to move an entire bridge. Hit up a couple of buttons. Almost fall off the map. And then you have another golden spatula. And onward we go. For being in a cave, this is a very open part of the level. Most of what you're doing here is just running around hitting buttons that we'll be using later. And activating bridges. It's time to switch to Patrick. Now, there's three mini games up here, and they're a lot easier than they used to be. You'll see in like the second mini game here that you can just complete it in two throws. It's a lot easier than it used to be. But for going through these three, we get a golden spatula, so that's GG. And that's GG. Now, let's go ahead and buy this and hit this up right here. Toss a watermelon on it. And right here, the most important thing is to hit this button right here. This is one of the four Master Shat Done buttons. You need one of these. But there's also another little Patrick minigame up here. And the idea is there's eight pegs, and you've got to face them all towards the center. And they change three each time. So the best strat for doing this is you could just Google it and figure it out instantly, but I didn't do that. What I did is I just kind of did random... I just did random sequences until I finally got it. And for doing it... We got a golden spatula. And back into Spongebob now. Across this bridge. Up these walls. And there's another golden spatula. Go ahead and hit this next master shutdown button up. Fun fact, this is Barnacle Boy inside this computer. And onward we go. So the main thing about this part of the level is to just dodge a bunch of Vegas style dance floor tiles. They're all over the floor and they all do different kinds of patterns. You just kind of dodge them all and don't get hit by the ad, like a bunch of the ads. Don't get hit by a bunch of the ads. Also watch out for the electrical problems with the building again. Make sure to hit this button right here, nab a golden spatula, and then also go hit this sock over here. Alright, so we're now on to one of the best rooms in the game, and also one of the worst. Now there's a lot of stuff to explain in this one. So first thing you want to do is hit this button up, that just makes things easy. The first thing is hit this button to start it. Next thing is to hit this spinny thing to make the ball keep going. We go down a little bit, now hit this little cup so that it puts it into this little circly thing. Now, you just kind of watch for the ball to get really close to this next piece and hit this button right here to cause this to happen. And then run all the way over to here, hit the platform, it kind of just goes. Hit this button to make the hammer go. And you want to run over to here and sort of just wobble the ball in there, just sort of get lucky and do it. And run all the way over to this platform right here and hit the bubble bowl piece that's right next to it. And then G. 
GG. That's another spatula. And make sure to get this sock too. This gateway will take you back to the computer. She gives you a golden spatula. Hit this button up right here. And now it's time for the Mermelair boss fight. So this boss fight's not too hard either. His name is Kron. He kind of shoots some bubbles at you and just sort of jump over his bubble blast kind of thing. And then smack him with a bowling ball once he, once he opens up the little thing right there. Just kind of dodge the robots. Hit him again. Dodge the bubble blast kind of thing. Hit him again, and there we go. And that's one more spatula. In total now, this video has taken me just about 8 hours to make. So, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Yay!